up guys? I got this very interesting question from this guy, the reminder second. And he is asking me why entering molar feed in all reactors in series is considered the same. It should change because reactant moles are decreasing. That's actually true. And I'm going to show you why can we do this. I actually comment him, if you want to read the comment, it's in the video. I will be posting the link, I think, probably here. But let me tell you, let's analyze the system first. We got this inlet FA0. You got, of course, a volume of this tank. And this is the single pass conversion. What's that? It's the actual conversion of this only unit. Okay? So for the first one, it's no problem. You got inlet and the outlet FA1. Now, because they are connected in series, we got this, let's say, scope. Either we choose to work along with this tank or we choose to work with the whole system. The thing here is probably just for the sake of this example, I'm going to choose the single pass conversion. What does that mean? It means that the 50% conversion is only carried here in this tank. So probably the most common thing to do is to give the overall conversion. If I got this 50%, then X2 will be, I don't know, uh, 75%. This is the global. So if you refer to X of 1, it will be 50. And if you refer to this 75% conversion, it will be of the whole system. But let's say to get the answer to this question, we're going to suppose it's the single uh, unit. So let me tell you what are we going to do. We have this reaction and let's say we got all the data for conversion. Let's do it or let's check how it will be done if you got the single pass conversion. So this conversion is for this one and this conversion is for this reactor and we want to calculate the volume. So the first thing we are going to do is calculate the first volume which is 0 to x1 and you reference it to the inlet which is here. Okay, That's no problem and you got your data here. Then you do this integral and you got volume 1. Now if you want to calculate the volume 2 will be essentially and look here very importantly you need to start with 0 and finish to x2 but x2 in this case must be the single pass conversion so if they give you the overall pass conversion you cannot use it and you cannot simply say 75 minus 50 percent you cannot do that because since it's an integral you cannot just do al algebraic method here so you will need to find check out, it's kinda complicated, I'm going to explain it in another video maybe, but what I want you to show you is essentially that you are not referencing to this x of 1. Why not? Because it is single pass. So let's say this is independent of all the data of the previous reactors, which is the actual question of this guy. Why? Okay, it should change because reactant smalls are decreasing, that's true f of a0 is not the same as f of a1, actually f a1 equals f a0 times 1 minus x or conversion. Okay, so since I'm referencing to a single pass conversion, I need to start with 0 and end up with the single pass conversion, which is in this case 50%. And I will get the volume and please note that I'm using, and I need to reference to this entering flow, not this one here. So that's the trick part. The trick part is essentially you got this zero, you reference it to the single pass conversion and you need to use the actual inlet of this reactor. Okay, And since the data is the same, you can use this, the same data. Now you got your volume and this is the thing you will do for this type of uh, problem in which you got single pass. But as I told you before, normally you get not uh, single pass conversions, you get overall conversions. They will tell you first it enters to this reactor and you react 50% and then you keep reacting it until you get an overall conversion of, I don't know, maybe they tell you 75%. Okay, once again, with our first uh, volume, you will see that it is exactly the same because it's the first one, so the single pass conversion of the first reactor will be the overall conversion so it's the same mathematically speaking it, they are the same numbers 
And as you can see, I'm referencing to the inlet, which is FA0, FA0, and I use this same data here. So the first one is exactly the same. Now, thing changes when you analyze the second reactor. Uh, we're going to make a reference on the last conversion. Why? Because we're talking about FA0. We're referencing everything to FA0 and not FA01. And as you can see, we cannot start with zero because we are referencing to FA0. It will be like lying to ourselves that we are starting again from zero conversion when we know actually that there is a conversion. So we need to reference it to X of 1. And this X of 2 must be overall conversion, guys. You cannot use this single pass conversion. Using here 0.5 will be extremely wrong because you already have 0.5 in the overall conversion you will use 0.5 here you will have 0 because you are referencing from here and maybe here makes uh, makes a lot of sense but let's say there's the, cas uh, the casualty uh, let's say for luck it's 0.6 and maybe it makes sense that, that you have 0.5 to 0.6 but that will be not true because this 0.6 is a let's say a single pass and we don't want single pass we want a overall conversion so the thing here is that you will need to actually know the overall conversion. If you wouldn't know the overall conversion, you will need to do this. So essentially, I throw away all the red stuff. Okay, once again, you can see here f of a0 and f of a1. That's what I change. And the reference x1 here is 0. And this X2 actually is not the same as this X2 here. This is single pass conversion, this is global pass conversion. They are not the same. And that's essentially what will give you the total volume. And of course they must be the same. And hopefully, the reminder second, you are happy with this video. And yeah, essentially it's everything guys. See you in the next videos.